like throughout the house, in this staircase, which is the west staircase, there were areas that were original parts of the uh, wall, and most of them were papered over, so the wallpaper was taken off. And then the problem arose how to, again, make a unified finish, bringing in the old parts into the new one, and that was also, again, picking out all the colours that were in the old um, plaster and applying one after the other on top of each other and distressing them so that there is quite a lot of movement and by this movement you then um, get this very, I find, unique finish as if it was there for a long, long time. And the problem also was that you know, on each wall of the stairs there was a different hue to it. Some were more yellow, the other one were more pink and so we had to again bring every colour that was in the staircase and bring it all together in the different washes that we did. The lime was quite thick, as you can see, to give it a bit of texture and also to cover up all the dark spot and all the dirty marks that were on the wall. But it gives a pleasing result at the end because it is uh, warm, it is earthy and it does look distressed and old, and that was what we tried to achieve, and I, th I think it was a very good result. The, the, the difficulty was the dado, to find the colour for the dado, and we tried several, <laughs> we had several goes, because it, we painted it in winter, in January, where the light goes off at three o'clock, and it was raining, and it was dark, and whatever colour we put on, it was one colour here, the same colour looked completely different there, different here, different... So, eventually, by trial and error, we got to one colour that unified or brought all the different colours, all the different hues that were required into one, and which was then accurate or uh, uh, agreeable to everybody. Yeah. And uh, it, it wasn't an evident job, it was a very complicated time of, uh, of mixing colour, because each single colour that you see in this house was not out of a pot, it was mixed by m myself, by moi, <laughs> and it took, I mean, you, you must ask other people, I mean, I, I was like a cook on behind his hearth and mixing colours and trying them on and drying them with a, <laughs> with a hair dryer and then a patch here and a patch there, and they were so because each room had at least six, seven, eight, sometimes ten, twelve coats or more. So each colour had to be mixed and each colour had to be saved and each colour had to be expanded and reduced. And it was a massive job of matching and mixing colours. And most, I would say almost most of my time was spent trying out the, the finishes and then mixing the colours to achieve it.